Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Wales on TV series. Today we will answer the question what are the parasites in whales and dolphins? If you remember the past episode of Whales on TV, we talk about the external parasites of whales and dolphins, so also called ectoparasites. In this case, instead, we will be talking about the endoparasites, so those parasites that live inside whales and dolphins. In this case, also, we are talking about real parasites. It means that they take advantage from living inside the host at the host expenses. Like other species of parasites of terrestrial mammals, these parasites of whales and dolphins also have a complex life cycle. This means that they go through several transformations until they reach the final host, and normally they have one or more intermediate hosts. The first type is represented by flukes or tapeworms. If you want to think about the similar parasites that affect terrestrial mammals, you can take, for example, the stenia species that affect pigs, cows and even humans. They can reach several meters in length and generally we can find adult forms localized in the intestine and intermediate forms of other species localized in the blubber and in the muscles. In the case of the adult forms, this means that the cetacean, the whales or the dolphins, are the final host of the parasite. So the parasite can live into the digestive tract, release the eggs that then eventually reach the water and the egg restarted the cycle. First develops in smaller invertebrates such as krill and copepods and later on can pass to a transport host or a secondary host such as fish. In the case of those fluke species that use dolphins and whales as an intermediate host, the situation is quite different. Generally, these parasites can be found and chested in blubber and muscle tissue. And once a shark, for example, eats the carcass of the whale or the dolphin or attack a living whale or dolphin, it will eventually ingest the chest that will further develop inside the body of the sharks and reach the adult form. The second type of parasite that can affect whales and dolphins is represented by nematodes or round worms. A classic example is Anisakis. This round worm can infect the stomach of whales and dolphins and in some cases also of humans, especially in consequence of the consumption of raw fish. While Anisakis can grow to up 2 cm in length, there are other nematodes that can reach large dimensions. It's the case of Crassicauda. It's a nematode with several species that can infect different parts of the body of dolphins and whales. In one particular case, we witness Crassicauda infecting the ureter and the kidneys of fin whales, and the specimens can reach up to 1, 1 1.5 meters in length. But this is nothing in comparison to Crassicauda that infects the placenta of sperm whales, that can reach 9 meters in length. So that's it for today and uh, thank you for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe and to uh, forward any question you might have about uh, marine mammals and in particular whales and dolphins. So to the next uh, Whales on TV episode. Ciao!